Welcome to City in the Talk Show. Happy New Year's Eve, almost. I think some of you are going to make New Year's resolutions. I am. Some of the resolutions I think all of us should make due to the huge COVID-19 crisis, I think we should all resolve to a max as much as possible. But not, not, I want to make one exception, not wear your mask in the shower. Ever. Ever. It will be totally soaked. You'll have to hang a mask, the soaked mask, up on the line to dry for days, and you won't be able to wear it. If it's, it might be a designer mask that you paid hundreds of dollars for, you know, and it'll be ruined, ruined beyond repair. It's not wearing the shower. Other than that, wear your mask a whole lot. Protect yourself, protect others. Okay. Now, as for my resolutions, as well as the mask wearing, I have two resolutions. Two of them. And one of them is I'm resolving not to smoke in 2021. I know it sounds hard. Not be hard for me, not be hard for me though. Because I gave up smoking 36 years ago. It's going to be a century not to, not to smoke next year. I still will be able to tell people though. I'm, I'm achieved my New Year's resolution not smoking. They'll be impressed, won't they? Ha <laughs> ha. Kind of a trick. My other resolution is to be more serious. A lot of you have commented that she's silly. I do make a lot of jokes. Take things lightly, I guess, sometimes too much. All right, all right. I'll try to be more serious. I guess I could make some such remarks, such as, well, with me, life sucks. Is that enough? No, I think I need to do, need to do more. I thought it over. I could adopt some conspiracy theories because I noticed that people who believe in conspiracy theories tend to be very serious, very grim and serious. My problem is that I can't believe most of them. I do believe in one very strongly, though. One conspiracy theory. I'm sure it's true. I'll tell you what it is. I live in New York City and, uh, there's a corner down right where I live on the street, which the conspiracy to continually, unnecessarily do construction on that corner. It's right up the street constantly, frequently anyway, for no real reason, good reason. And make enormous amounts of noise. Now, the typical thing happens on Saturday morning at 8 a.m., as jackhammers come out in the street and start tearing up, making a hole. The jackhammers are as loud as a helicopter landing on your porch. Really loud. Everybody gets woken up. I should mention, my conspiracy theory is not paranoid. I don't believe it's only me being targeted. I believe it's everyone within a 20 mile major radius of what this hole is. A lot of people. They're all being tortured. Anyway, the noise on Saturday morning, the jackhammers, begins at 8 a.m. and lasts until 8.30 a.m. It stops. But seriously. Then you try to go back to sleep. Noise starts again at 11 a.m. Because you intermittently. Then eventually the workers fill the holes. They dig it, dig it up. Fill the hole. And I wondered what they might be trying to get or to dig up. There might be some cable wires, telephone wires. Uh, electricity wires. Buried treasure, maybe? But they can't, they never seem to find it if you do it over and over again. I really wonder about this. 
I feel like one idea behind this conspiracy could be conspiracy by the, conspiracy by the city. A bunch of bureaucrats sitting in a non-discreet building, being paid a salary with nothing to do. So they, they sit together and do this plot. Drive all crazy in this 20 block radius. And it's pretty careful what they do. I'd like to get to them with the art, get my hands on them. But if it's just like to murder them, I, don't, I wouldn't let him. I wouldn't let him. I said, I think it should, it should be jail, jail, put in jail for long. That's all I want. So anyway, my conspiracy theory might make me more of the more serious. Only a little low. I suspect in 2021, I was still pretty silly and still making jokes a lot. So you can expect more of the same on my show. That's it for today. Happy New Year. Till next time.